In this video, I'm going to provide you with some sample questions that have tripped up a lot of my students on the desktop specialist exam. These specific questions are related to exploratory analysis, and they're not necessarily covered in a lot of the study guides that I've seen online. In my course, I go step by step and give you the tools to answer these type of questions. Because in my consulting practice, yes, there's reporting and explanatory analysis that my clients want, but on the other hand, there's also exploratory where they want very specific questions about their data answered. The desktop specialist exam has 30 questions and a 60 minute timeline. That means that you have on average two minutes per question. So if it's going to take you five minutes to dig through the data to come up with some answers, that might be the difference between you passing your exam and you, you failing your exam. There is a link in the description to both the raw data file and the question file. So there are five questions that we're going to go over today. Pause the video and go through that. And then once you're finished answering the questions, you can resume the video and you'll see how I conducted this type of exploratory analysis. Let's go ahead and use Tableau to answer those specific questions. The first question is, what are our sales in 2017 and 2018? Well, all you have to do is drag in sales and then week ID, like we did in one of the earlier lessons. So there in 2017, here are the answers. So it's 3.7 and 3 million. So question two is a continuation of this analysis. So what are the electronic sales in Q4 of 2017? For us to get to Q4, all we have to do is hit this plus button and now we have quarters. And then to look at specifically the phone assortment, well, we could do that in a number of ways. We could just add it here. Then you can look at 2017 phones, Q4. It's, oh, that's four electronics. So it would be 267, 311. Or what we could do is come in and filter on assortment and just look at electronics. Apply. So there you go, it's 267, 311. Question three is, what are the total sales for Texas? So we're gonna have to get out of the time series tab and into the geo tab. So let's pull in state and sales and let's get this a little bit more centered and if you remember when we were doing the regional analysis we pulled it in like that heat map and then let's just pull sales in the label and you can see texas is 255,565 Question four is what are the average in stock percentages for the red items? Let's add another tab here. And so we're gonna have to be in the geo tab because time series doesn't have the color. You'll remember that fact. So let's pull in in stock percentages. And you remember it comes it out, it brings it out as a sum usually so let's come here and then put it as average so there's the percentage that's the total percentage let's filter on red and there you go so that we could go ahead and format that as well worksheet or so this is the field for average in stock numbers percentage so it's 97 
0.12%. And the last question is, what is the total inventory on hand for the phone assortment? Let's add another sheet here. Average inventory on hand is in the time series tab. So let's pull that out. So that is the sum, which is the correct aggregation. Then let's filter it on phone. So there you go. That is the answer for question five. I wanted to put these questions together just so you could see how I've given you a tool set now that you can quickly slice and dice the data to come up with specific answers of questions. If there are any questions specifically that you have about the desktop specialist exam, please leave a comment down below and I'll make an effort to answer that question. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. I'm creating this content and I want to know if I'm actually hitting on something that's useful.